this video I'm going to show you how to do the top. Um, the top's really easy. Um, it's four pieces duplicated the same. Just got to follow the process um, of drawing in the right position. So up at the top, um, on the main component, right click, new component, as usual. I'm going to click and name it top. And we want to make this a sub assembly. So when we've got top here, we're going to right click it and go one more time. New component. I'm going to call it MPG10. That's the material type we're going to use for this. So that just makes a bit of sense to call it that. I'm going to create a sketch while our um, new MPG10 component is activated. I like to um, model on that component there. Remember, we're going to move this up to the top later. So it's going to be 88 long tab 25 finish the sketch and extrude so e for extrude um, 600 long enter now we're going to duplicate that so copy right click copy and then paste and pull it along this way and okay and then right click paste again, put all along a bit further, leave some gaps in between them. That'll come clear why in a second. And one more. So now we have to join them. So right click come down here. See this one, these two are really close together, so they're gonna be a bit hard to join. So that'll come together. I've still got a set of slider, so just make it rigid. And OK, and do that two more times. And last one. So that's together now. Um, we should be able to move that as one piece up towards the top. And uh, let's join so let's join this top edge here whoops i clicked the wrong one so it's asking me what component i want it's none of them so i'll click away and we'll try again that one's good and this one under here so we've just made it like flush here so we'll need to go back and edit it to make it even on both sides. So let's have a measure from here to here. So this one is 37. So if I go back to this one here, double click it or right click edit joint. We want to do it. Oops, just trying to find the right arrow, this one here. And bring it. We put 37 in there if your maths isn't any good and put it get rid of the millimeters divided by two and uh, that calculates it for you and we've got almost every component now so that's our top done very last component i promise this time um, we're going to draw, draw a draw face so we're going to go back into the draw component and activate it and Let's measure what this draw face has to be on the front. So from inspect, we're going to measure from the front of this leg to the front of this leg. I should remember what the rail is. It's 485. So let's make it 480. And from this component to this component is 102. So we'll make it 100. So We'll go right click new component call it draw face and click OK. We'll sketch on this front panel here. We're gonna draw um, this twelve millimeter stick. By 100 millimeters, so tab 100 millimeters high, and then we're going to extrude it 
any sketch extrude. This is going to be 480 long. And then to join that, we're going to go join the center of that to the center of this. And click OK. And that's our draw front or draw face. Now our modeling is done, we'll go through and uh, where it says join, um, you can hide all them, activate the top component, so your master is um, showing, and then anywhere where there's a join like this, identify where it is and click the eyeball for joints, so that just hides it and makes it look a little bit neater. The other thing we can do is down in the display settings, go to visual style, shaded with visual edges, um, and then also go to camera perspective. It makes it look a little bit neater for the, our presentation view. We're going to do a couple of little rendering things here now. So um, just on any component, right click it and go um, physical material. That brings up a physical material dial up box on the side. And we're going to look down for wood. And then continue to scroll down for pine. So pine radiata pine is what we're using. And drag and drop that on every component. You might have to move your model around a little bit to find. Um, oops, I just clicked the wrong one. Um, to find every component. So, like, I can do everything that I can see here, but rotate your model because there's always something else hiding there. Um, drag the drag the drawer out. So you have to close that. Drag your drawer out so you can get all the other components as well and continue to drag and drop everything. If you're not happy with the way it looks, you can duplicate a material and then go back into here, like double click, advanced. You can go right into the appearance and physical appearance settings. This is like the, the rendering image here. Um, I think you double click that and then you can change the rotation or the offset. So you can see that's changed the angle of the grain because I've gone kind of 90 degrees to where it was before. Click done and apply. And you can see that like the, the image is rotated here. So if I now change this one, you can see it's changed the look of the, the grain on the, on the top. This is probably the more appropriate way, but that knot that gets duplicated looks a bit weird. So. It's up to you, you can have a play with that, it's not super important unless you're looking for a really good rendering. So that's it kind of rendered up, so that's the physical material selected. Um, that's our model finished. If you want to go in and edit the length or the height, you can make some changes to that, but otherwise we're ready to make a technical drawing.